Hi, this is Jonathan Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fail validation using jQuery. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. Um, I, I am basically a Java Springs programmer, and I really don't like doing JavaScript to do fail validation. So I love using a product called jQuery. jQuery is a library written in JavaScript that makes doing a lot of stuff pretty easy. Uh, form validation of failed. It has a lot of plugins for animation and a lot of other stuff. If you're not using jQuery, you should really look into starting to use it in your project. So if you go to my website, as you see up here, jonathanmarksmith.com, I actually just wrote a new blog on uh, how to use jQuery validation plugin for failed validation. And I'm going to bring you to a quick example of how to validate a form data before sending it to the server. It's also a good idea to still put the validations on the server in case someone has JavaScript turned off or they're trying to do something funny to your application slash website. So let's go through my basic form. As you can see, I have a form that has a first name, a last name, an age. And the form looks like this. First name, last name, and age. And let's say I wanted to put some type of validation in there to check that the user has entered the data. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use some CSS for styling my data. As you see, I'm setting an area for my error. And, 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 and I'm going to make the inboxes red. That's what I'm doing over here in case there is an error. Now, I got to insert this code into where I want my error displayed on my HTML page. And also, you gotta add these two libraries. One is the jQuery 1.7.2 library, and one is the jQuery validate library. Uh, one very important fact, if you're using jQuery 2.0 or up, it doesn't work on IE. There's still a lot of people still using Windows computers. Not everyone is on Mac and Linux these days. So you definitely should look at using jQuery 1.7 something or 1.8. Uh, the 2.0s don't support IE, which I believe a lot of people still use, unfortunately. Then at the top of my page, I add this JavaScript. And basically, this is jQuery saying, check out my form, that's my form name, and validate. Then I say, my first name failed is required. My last name failed is required. The age is required, but I need it in the range of 18 through 20. Actually, I believe on my blog, this might be a little bit older data. I think I actually changed it in the code example on GitHub to 21 through 55. Then I tell it which messages to use. If the first name is not entered, say, please enter your first name. The last name is not entered, please enter your last name. Now, for the age, there's two messages. One is if it's blank, and one if it's not in the range. And then I tell it where to put the message and wrap. And that's pretty much how the form validation works. Now, let's see how it works on the screen. Here's my form, first name, last name, and let's hit submit. As you can see, I got my error messages. And as I enter it, Jonathan, you can see it slowly goes away. Smith. Now, the best part is I like this one. If I put in an age that is out of the range, it tells me. But now, if I go here and I put it in, it should all work. And it did submit. Now, as you see how easy that is to, to add validation to an application, and it's really quick and it takes very little coding, you could actually now, you might say, where do I get this sample? And how do I run it? Well, like always, I put everything on GitHub. All my source code is on GitHub. You could go to GitHub at the following place and do a clone, do a CD, and I actually set it up to run in the Tomcat server for free. So actually, you could do a clone, CD to the directory, and run it right from your box. Please feel free to go to GitHub and download the source and play with it. Uh, and, and if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Thank you.